In late 2021, it was reported that pop star and former boy bander Liam Payne was selling his home in Surrey, England he bought back in 2015. The Georgian style mansion was given a modern and chic update inside, boasting open plan living spaces and over 9,000 square feet of space. Liam had been renting an estate in Buckinghamshire with ex Maya Henry since 2020 and sold his 10,000 square foot home in Calabasas, California to Halsey last year, but it's not sure where he's moved on to next. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Liam Payne is an English singer and songwriter who rose to fame being a member of the boy band One Direction. He made his debut in 2008 auditioning for The X Factor and after being eliminated auditioned again in 2010 when he was chosen to be in One Direction. Liam's debut album as a solo artist came out at the end of 2019 and went on to sell over 18 million singles in just two years since One Direction. At the time of this recording, Liam is estimated to have a net worth of $70 million, an amount that he's continued to rack up after the boy band days through modeling deals and his solo career. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and this one checking out where Liam Payne has called home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In late 2021, Liam had listed his residence in Surrey, England, which he purchased back in 2015 for $6.8 million. This time, he had hoped to score a healthy profit with the asking price of $8.9 million, but in the end, he sold it for $8.1 million, still making a good amount in the sale. The Georgian style mansion sat on a 2.9 acre lot near the small town of Woking in Surrey, England, about 35 miles from central London. Liam also carried out a major overhaul of the property back in 2018, which resulted in some modern interiors for the classic abode. The three-story mansion was transformed into the ultimate bachelor pad after Liam split with his baby mama Cheryl Tweedy, who formerly lived here with him. While they were together, they asked for approval on a number of renovations, but those plans dramatically changed once he became single. Inside, the estate boasted 9,170 square feet of space with five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, as well as a one bed and one bath annex attached to the main home. His house backed onto a golf course and in its quiet location seemed ideal for a couple or a family with children. The grounds boasted rolling lawns, a swimming pool, and a turf tennis court soccer pitch, while the front of the home had a stately motor court and fountain. Looking at interiors, we can see the mansion boasted open plan living spaces and was given a very modern look once Liam was done with the renos. There's a foyer with white marble flooring and white walls to match, while moving into the multiple reception rooms, including the main living room with fireplace, the floors boast a dark hardwood. This room flows into the dining room and the contemporary kitchen with top grade appliances, a bar style seating, and an attached TV room with built-in modern fireplace and French doors to the yard. The glass railed staircase connects the three floors of the mansion and leads to the bedrooms while the glamorous master suite has everything from a plush bed to a sitting area with fireplace and not one but two massive skylight topped ensuite baths. Elsewhere, there's a Lux home theater with starry ceiling and a home gym complete with a hot yoga room. Since 2017, Liam reportedly had plans to build his dream man cave on the property and it appears he finally got around to doing that. We can see that this games room offers a billiards table, bar, and several pinball machines. There's even a separate cottage with one bed and one bath for staff or guests. At the end of 2020, it was also reported that Liam and his former fiance Maya Henry were renting out a mansion in Buckingham. Shire. He decided to stay closer to where his son Bear lives with his mom, Liam's ex Cheryl. Liam and Maya were holed up in a rented $7 million mansion with seven bedrooms that looked more like a grand hotel from the curved staircase and towering hallway. Other features in this residence included a billiards room, swimming pool, and home theater. 
The couple had shared a number of photos from their time living at the Buckinghamshire mansion where they spent evenings in together and with friends. In a bunch of social media photos, Maya showed off the glamorous hall with carpeted staircase and an open dining area behind her. It seems that Liam had lived here for quite some time, but since the pair parted ways, it's not sure where he's since moved to. Before we wrap this up, in early 2021, it was revealed that Liam found a buyer for his mega mansion across the pond in Calabasas, California, and it was none other than famous singer Halsey who snagged the pad for almost $10.2 million. Liam's former Calabasas compound spans 4.75 acres of land and was situated at the end of a tree-covered private lane while the driveway led over a stone and wooden bridge up to the front of the Spanish-style main mansion, which spanned 9,659 square feet. Inside, there were five bedrooms and eight bathrooms in total, and outbuildings like a guardhouse, two guest houses, a fitness pavilion, and a recording studio. Another beautiful bonus was the Japanese-inspired tea house and meditation space that sat on a hill beside a koi pond. The grounds of Liam's former home also had waterfalls, picturesque gardens, and plenty of rolling lawns. This mansion was built in 1991, and listing photos show stunning archways and Spanish tiling on the house. The grand interior is boasted walnut flooring, soaring beam ceilings, and a full audio system throughout the mansion. You could greet guests in this barrel vaulted entryway that was flanked with columns leading into a great room. The room had a double height wood ceiling, an arched window flooding the space with light, as well as a limestone fireplace. We can also see the wooden staircase leading to the upper level of the residence and a pair of doors to the patio. This space is classic, but it's hard to compete with the amazing library Liam had here. The double height library featured ornate details and was decked out in wood with a second floor gallery, fireplace, and sitting area. The kitchen was big enough to host an entire boy band and then some with the double sized island and bar style seating. But something tells me that his ex bandmates would never be joining him for a meal anyway. Aside from the high-end appliances, there was also a unique aquarium built into the custom cabinets here. Other main floor spaces included a formal dining room with fireplace, a breakfast nook, and elsewhere a state-of-the-art home theater with widescreen projector. The master suite on the upper level boasted more wood beam ceilings, a sitting area, a walkout balcony, and epic ensuite bath. With double vanities, a soaking tub, and separate tiled shower, the bathroom had an impressive design as well. A basement level in his former mansion was the perfect space to kick back with family and friends and had a large games room with billiards table, arcade games, and more, while nearby there was a wine cellar. Liam's home gym was located in its own outbuilding, so as you would imagine, it was fully stocked. Aside from this, there were the two guest houses on the property, along with ample outdoor space, a fire pit with plush seating and an outdoor kitchen. The extensively landscaped grounds had a rock-lined creek, waterfalls, and mature trees, as well as a private corner with a hammock to take in the surroundings. Of course, the terraced area also had a mosaic tiled swimming pool and spa, and elsewhere a meditation building. All right, now that we've looked at the homes of Liam Payne, what did you guys think? Did you have a fave, or what did you think of the modern renovations that he carried out on his Surrey home? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!